Stardock's latest technology is bound to make a lot of PC gamers very happy indeed as their newest tech will let you mix AMD and Nvidia cards in one PC. Now obviously this has a lot of really cool um, implications to PC gaming, not only will it make high-end gaming more affordable, but it will actually put virtual reality within reach of many more people than we had originally thought. Now. CEO Brad Wardell spoke about this in an interview with GamesBeat and he basically spoke about their plans and it's a software solution that's part of DX12 and as I said earlier will enable you to use AMD and Nvidia GPUs in one PC and you won't need a cumbersome setup like Crossfire or SLI and of course with those things the cards must be identical to link them together with Stardock's solution, you just plug into your existing PCIe slots. Now, both Stardock and Microsoft are going to be talking about this more at the GDC conference, which of course is taking place pretty much over the next couple of days, but he did have a little bit to say. And he said, quote, we will come up with a cool marketing name for it. Basically, it's multi-GPU. You can mix and match cards however you want. Now there's no understating really how much of a revolution this could make PC gaming and make it more attractive to more gamers and as well of course developers for graphics intensive titles. You'll need a pretty beefy GPU or you need a solution like SLI. But once this is in machines with DX12 all you need for better graphics are smaller cheaper cards. You can even mix and match so it means you won't necessarily need to shell out upwards of $500 or more to upgrade. You could just do two or one or two older cards. And of course, as I said earlier on in the video, this will also make virtual reality more of a possibility to more people than we thought, because say you've got a, you know, you've got a good card, but you don't have the sheer amount of horsepower needed to run, say, Oculus or Vive, which do require quite a lot of power under the hood, just given you need quite a high frame rate for obvious reasons. And perhaps, you know, if you could just say, you know, add, top it up with an AMD card or an NVIDIA card, depending on which one you already have in your system, rather than buying a whole new thing or even getting a SLI set up with two new GPUs, you have a much cheaper solution in your hands. And obviously the money that you might have spent on that expensive GPU can now be freed up to say, go on a CPU upgrade or something else that you might need, so basically it just makes your money go further. And I just want to reiterate that not only would this technology enable you to mix brands, it'll also enable you to mix generations of cards. So if you have an older card, say like a GTX 690, you can add one of the higher end G AMD Radeon GPUs with it and just have that bit more kick. And Brad went on to say, quote, one of the biggest problems with games is that a new video card comes out from AMD and Nvidia and they're like expensive and you have to make a call. I like my video card. I can play most games on it, and I don't want to spend $800 on some new video card, but imagine instead, hey, they're having a sale, using my GTX 760 as an example, hey, they're having a sale on an AMD 290 for 75 bucks. wouldn't it be cool to put this into your computer and double your performance? You can keep this in there. You can put this in there, the 290 obviously, and your games are twice as fast without doing anything else. Nvidia likes this so much, they're on the PC, and this gives the PC a huge advantage for PC gaming. Now, the benefits don't just stop at games developers, gamers, and of course VR enthusiasts and VR makers, it could also benefit monitor makers as well. For example, you might not necessarily need like a 980 tie or what have you to run the latest games at 4K. And could even go towards helping motherboard manufacturers. People may need more PCIe slots and it is cheaper to upgrade to a motherboard than it is to buy the latest and greatest GPUs. Now, that's not to say that this new technology has been easy coming. Wardell did say that Stardock had been working on this for a year and had been conversing with both AMD and Nvidia along the way. And unsurprisingly, they did have a bit of an issue with mixing competing GPUs together. And that's not exactly surprising. And he said, quote, They don't love the part, mixing competing cards in one PC, but what they do love is the idea that people will buy more cards. It's a major friction where someone says, I have a card that works. I'm not going to spend $800. They don't get the sale, but you're going to get the same effect by adding an $80 video card to your existing setup. Now, obviously, all of this is part of DirectX 12, so if you don't have Windows 10, then this probably isn't going to be in your future unless you want to upgrade or perhaps they work on a solution for older operating systems. But if it's a part of DX12, it's probably not going to happen unless someone gets DX12 working on Windows 7 or 8. But 
even with that, this is actually really impressive and I'm actually pretty excited. I mean, I have a pretty damn good card. A 780 tie, but even that card is getting on a bit and it's obviously not good enough for VR. And this could potentially be an option for me to put VR more within my reach than I would have thought previously. So this is pretty damn nice for me and I will admit that a little part of me is excited and yes, that makes me a massive nerd. But that's hardly a shocker. You're watching this channel, you probably are one too. Just, just a little. Just a little. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.